The resident will cut one beer. See, we even after we get your certificate by the end of the day, this is not to We don't want insecurities in the area. Yes, and we are telling them this is a hotel, and yeah, people are coming. We are taking their details, details and all that, but they were they were like Wali done. Walikuwa washamua hatuizi kapo. So by the way, upon dipo that time. Ukajua Kenya iko na wenyewe. Hey. Kenya iko na wenyewe. The residents decided they are now they are going to really frustrate us. They locked the barrier. There is a barrier just before you access the hotel. Kulikuwa na barrier. So, so jali kwa mepo instruction. Anyone coming to the hotel, usimfungulie. So, our clients wana kuja wana ampiwa iyo place ata ni illegal. Nini, nini. Ezini, shuko ujifungulie gate. You see now, you, when you are a client. The frustrations. The frustrations. Embarrassment. To the embarrassment. And then you're coming to spend your money. Unarudi. Unajua people are doing story. Mm -hmm. You're coming to spend your money and you're being told ujishuke ujifungulie gate so arrogantly. No, there is a problem. What you unarudi. But we are not going to let ourselves to sink. Yes. Because to sink, now Everything we will be auctioned. Your kids. Our kids will suffer. But atoka shule. Kai. Watenda shule aje. So, Akuna vinye tutajiacha nao tu auction niwe. We are not, we are going to fight. Hello and a warm welcome to LNS. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now my guest today knows what it feels to lose over 6 million in an investment. But she also knows what it means to rise up, start again and say, you know what, I won't be defeated. She is going to share her story with us and the lessons that she has learned along the journey. But before I can let her introduce herself, allow your girl here to say thank you to Elegance Fashion Kenya for coming through with this amazing outfit and the shoes and making me feel really nice about myself and you guys if you want to see their dresses and maybe make an order their contact details are right here on the screen and of course to our amazing partners here at Westwood Hotel for giving us this therapeutic space so that we are able to bring you conversations that have the ability to impact lives and now without further ado please allow me to let my guest today introduce herself good morning good morning Lynn. how are you i am fine thank you you are good kabisa i am good eh, karibu yeah. sana. thank you so much yeah able to introduce our, yourself to our audience yes. hey guys my name is Beldin kirito uh on my social media i'm known as Beldina kirito j Yes, I'm the founder of Beldina's Delicacies. Yeah. It's a bakery located in Kikuyu town. Yeah. We bake cakes and yeah. offer empowerment. It's more of an empowerment kind of training. Okay. Yeah, I'll be talking more about it after the show. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm a mother. I'm a wife and a mother of three boys. Three boys? Yes, three yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> si wana kupa, yeah. wana kupeleka mbio sana. Kabisa wana yeah. turning 10 this year, okay. another one six years, and uh, the youngest 10 months, whom people don't know. Because I'm a kwa in all this mix up and people were actually people have were wondering, Beldin, au kwa nampaka mtuto mdogo and with all this. Mm. Yeah, and generally uh, um, I'm a go-getter. Yes, I, yeah. And a risk taker. Yes, and a risk taker. Yeah. Yes. Can I tell you what I love about you? Your mm. ability to bounce back. Thank because you. I know during this mm. COVID era, yeah. people have taken risks yes. and people have lost so much money. Mm. And even right now, a lot of people have sunk into depression. Yeah. Because even me as Lynn, if mm. you tell me I'm going to lose my six, six million, million mm. shillings, yeah. whereas in Guinea, Atani loans and mm. I will Actually, be like, Mm. I cannot. Yeah. I cannot. So thank mm. you first for being yeah. so brave and thank even you. wanting to share your story. Yeah. I reached out to you because I was like, how strong mm. can this woman get? Yeah. At six million. Six oh, million. Six million. Hasla. Uzi sahau, ni hasla. Ni hasla. <laughs> yeah. Ni hasla. So for mm. me, that is mm. something I, I must commend you for being so brave. Thank yes. You. I, I know my mm. audience, they are dying to hear. <laughs> What's this story? Yeah. So it will take us through your story. 
Yes, now uh, my story, mm. uh, actually it's now generally about the 6 million business loan, yeah. a, a very big hotel we opened in Karen. So it started uh, during the COVID when there was lockdown. Mm. Okay, I've been passionate about baking. I've been baking, actually we've been baking for the last five years. Okay. COVID happened and um, I actually started uh, by creating, a, I felt, no, people at home, what should we be doing? People are just indoors. So I wanted even to keep people engaged. Mm. So I created a Facebook group called Virtual Skills Learning. Yeah. So where I started encouraging people to learn skills, do farming, uh, like uh, in Nairobi vertical, we even started uh, showing people how to do vertical gardening, yeah. using the sacks, yeah. um, to just grow their own vegetables. I started cooking, experimenting with a lot of recipes, mm -hmm. food presentation and all that. And yeah. I really perfected the art. Mm. Okay, I love good food. Yes. You is a fan of good <laughs> yes, food. Yes, I am such a foodie. Yes. Yeah, so you find now when I really perfected this skill and my husband was by the very impressed and mm. he was like, ah, we can make something out of this. Okay. And we started now, that's where we, wa we had wanted to expand our bakery, but we thought now instead of expanding the bakery and it has already peaked, mm. let's now diversify mm. and open a restaurant mm. and not just any restaurant, yes. have a fine dining because yeah. we really, we wanted to bring this fine dining experience mm. at home. So we started looking for a place. I cooked for like one, I cooked in uh, April, May, by June, I was really, really good and my audience, my followers were really good. That's why yeah. when I even started my YouTube channel, mm. Beldina, by then I called it Beldina's Delicacies. I've yes. now renamed it to Beldina Kirito J. Mm -hmm. Sharing recipes, I could, uh, I could make, I could make very nice meals. I present, I share people, I show them it's easy. Yes. And then for me, I've always uh, encouraged my audience, uh, my, my friends, mm. you don't have really to spend an arm and a leg to spend so much for you to have a good meal yeah. so for me i would just combination of simply available ingredients and uh, i come up with a very good recipe and i tell them if you're eating githeri you don't yes. have to eat a boring githeri yes, you yes. can have a very fine githeri by just adding a few ingredients mm. which are not even more than a hundred bob yeah. yeah so that was my aim so when i really perfected this and i wanted to get this experience to other people so we decided now we are getting into we are opening a fine dining restaurant mm. once COVID subsides Kidogo. Yes. So by at least uh, July, I think that when uh, it started opening up, mm. Kuona, the world is not ending. Exactly. Yeah. So we can, out of these skills that we've learned and we've perfected, we can now open a fine dining Restaurant. restaurant. So our target was in these uh, uh, high-end areas. Yeah. So we started looking for a place in Kilimani. Actually, we look for like a month, Kilimani, Kilelesho, Lavington. We are not getting. Mm. So one of the agents who was helping us at one point now tells us there is a place in Karen. Yeah, so, and when we went seeing that place, actually it was, it was formerly a hotel. Yes. That's what really attracted us. It yeah. was called Kisima House. Yeah. And then it was on a two-piece acre of land. So it's so spacious. We have gardens. I love events. Now being in the baking mm. and doing weddings. So yeah. I've been doing two small, small events here and there. So I get a place that you can do your fine dining restaurant. It has a swimming pool. It has grounds for the wedding. Mm. And uh, it had some few rooms for accommodation. Wow. So you find this is a dream come true because you can do comfortably host your weddings. Once you host a wedding, you will do the catering, catering yeah, reception. reception. You will offer accommodation for the bridal team to yes. spend their watolewe up or subui. Yeah. You have photo session area. You do the cake. So it was just... It was a 360. Yes, yeah. a 360. No, no, yes, this is it. And Ukiangalia, the cost was more or less the same, like what uh, the kind of some of the places we were getting in Kilimani, yeah. which were quite low. Because our um, instructions even to those people who was helping us uh, stand the alone. Agents, you yes. see, we were telling them to look for us for a stand, a stand alone. alone. Mm. Yeah, that at least we can have like, a small garden for private mm. uh, private parties. Mm -hmm. So when they we got that place, one, it's formerly a hotel. And then now the agents, I think they really exaggerated because they told, uh, we later came to learn from the residents yeah that the, the hotel had not lasted for more than two years. They told us the hotel was there for 14 years and it was, um, they moved to go and start another one mm. uh, to just, they bought land and started their own. Okay. Yeah, so this was really uh, such a good deal and very attractive. Yes. So we knew we are not even starting from a zero point. Actually, people knew from this yeah. as a hotel. Yeah. So when we told uh, 
our lawyer, we didn't even take time to think much. This is had been a, a, previ a hotel previously. So you don't think c there can be any impediment. Yes. You see, like Kilimani and Lovington to keep at these places, people were telling us uh, some places we could be told, no, you can't have a restaurant here. It will make noise to the residents. One thing, actually, like there is a very prime area we had gotten, but mm. now the landlady said, no, this is uh, uh, like a controlled area. You can't have a hotel mm. because of the residents and all that. Mm. We knew there are such things, yes. Mbali, yeah. but we didn't know, like, now here to Miampua, it was a previously a hotel. And then number two, ours was just to be this fine dining, a kwe kwe club. Mm. So, akuna, akuna noise. noise. Yes. So, now, that's where, where Kwanza, it's, uh, now, tukajua, it's commercial. Then we talked to the, our lawyer, the landlady, akatutumia some documents, akatumia, to prove, actually, kulikuwa na everything, paka hizo board meetings that they meant to, the place to be yes. changed to commercial. Yes. But kuna, it's like, it was not finalized, was what not we finalized, later yeah. came to learn. So, to Kwanza, to sign lease agreement, we paid the deposits. Actually, didn't require any renovations, because it was already uh, painted. Uh, yes. It was just cleaning so when we got their place uh, mid august we started cleaning by first september mm. We were ready for the launch. And in your heart, you're like, yes, oh, this is a dream come true. A dream come true. And then this is now me being previously in the events industry uh, through the wedding cakes. Yes. So it wasn't even hard getting wedding cake mm. clients. Like actually the following, in October, we had our... Clients uh, the, for the first wedding. Yes, for the first wedding. Kai. When you full package, yeah. So you are like God. Yeah, Asante. I know. Yeah, yeah. And then also, well, the place actually we opened uh, na holy mass mm. as being Catholics. Mm. We really we are so much into church. So to it was dedicated. In Mombe, yani we had done all Dude, yani, things. Oh. Yani vele, according to our knowledge, yes. all the right things that mm. we could have done. Mm. So now to Kansas to Vizuri, September it was very smooth. Now to Kansas, October we wanted to do a grand launch. Yes. And uh, we actually, that's where we had invited uh, Jalango as the MC. Okay. Yes. And uh, so we had sent a lot of invites and all that. We really publicized the event. So now that's where the residents got to know about it. Mm -hmm. And now actually they told us they got to know about uh, the, the, the hotel yeah. from from the social media. Mm. Now, now that's two days, is it? Yeah, it's that one, we, that week to launching. Uh, we, of course, you start by, because you're expecting a lot of people, yeah. you need security. We are pro we went to the current OCS that Monday and explained to her we are hosting a big event, yes. we need security, and we agreed yeah. he would bring like two policemen, yeah. she would bring two pol policemen. Yeah. Then now, on Thursday, that's when we received a call. Have you notified the residents about your event and you were like, no, like, uh, Mbona to notify, and this is our, uh, Nini, we've rented the place yes. in a signed lease agreement. Yes. And then she told us, in Karen, you really, you have to notify the residents association before you hold such events. Now, I was like, it's okay, I don't have a problem. I share their contact, I notify them. I shared and they're like, uh, now when I shared, the chairman told me the residents are planning to come and block that event. It's not going to happen because they don't want insecurities in the area. We didn't follow the right processes before there. We should have done a notice Ile, uh, a two weeks notice before coming in. Kai. A two weeks notice saying uh, to work your boards in the residential area to say, we are coming to put up a residence. Is there any objection or something like that? So, Sisi, we didn't know, by the way. Mshafungua. Mshafungua. Sisi, atujue, tunafau fanya vitu kama hizo. Now, you know, I, that, oh, th some of the things now I came to learn, like, uh, there are some businesses you should notify me. I knew as long as you may lipa mtu re, hii nyumpa ni amonya ume lipa rent, Mbona msumbuane na mtu mingine. Yes. But those are things now, some of the lessons mm. you come to, to learn, learn the later. hard way. Yeah. yeah, so now we we talked with the chairman, but mm. he was very understanding. And akaniambia, it's okay, we can, we really talked, we, yani back and forth, mpaka kakubali, it's okay, do your event, but now, Nilimonyesha, the intensity of the investment mm. that you've done to my book service providers, we've paid the MC, we've done so much. People have already paid advanced tickets, now we can't 
at Queen's yeah. So we agreed we to compromise. We're not going to make any kind of no, uh, noise. noise. Going we, to be quiet, yes. and these people, Yeah, and these people who are coming, they're already at Akuna insecurity because these are people who have paid advance tickets mm. and anyone and I get to know details. Zake. So we agreed at least na event can happen. Mm. Yeah. Now after the event, Joe, we went uh, looking for them. To Kanza, since we were very confident because to corner document to show that this place was changed to commercial, to commercial. but not the last certificate at Kukuanayo, your certificate of uh, change to com, uh, mm. change to commercial. Mm -hmm. The landlady a little bit there, what hotel in Joali and okay. she's trying to reach them, Ali lose contact and all that. Yes. So we were still buying time to get it, but to corner all the processes, Mpaka yes. Gazette, notice. Everything was there. Kila kitu board meetings. Kila kitu was there of uh, the process. Mm. Yeah, so we now later and your peer while they were doing their own investigation and came to your certificate by the end of the day. Mm. And it's like, aki, he Kenya, it's like there were forces because unapata e file, this particular file, I ku inapatikana. Mm. So we near your waiting and all and uh, uh, all that, but the residents were cut on BSC. We even after we keep your certificate by the end of the day, this in the we don't want insecurities in the area. Yes, and we are telling them this is a hotel, and yeah, people are coming, we are taking their details, details and all that. But they were they were like Wali done. Wali kuwa washa mua, hatuizi kaapo. And and now one thing for me, we were trying. To, actually, we tried all means possible. Apo in that uh, same gated area, there is a big church. There is PCA Mutero Church. A church, anyone will come to church, and you will not take details. Yes. There is a ground. Your yeah, weddings. It's called Beth. Uh, Beth, Beth I can't remember, but yeah. there is that ground. Mm. So there are two public areas. Now the church is after the Nini. The, so our argument was, this. there it's is a public. big church, yes. it's public. There is a, a the wedding, the wedding ground, ground. It's public. It's public. Our so restaurant is public, public yet, but controlled. Yes. Yeah. So by the way, up on depot, that time... Ukajua Kenya ikona wenyewe. Kenya ikona wenyewe. So... Do you are like by the way at a size it's okay. So Nini, we really by the way try to fight. Mm. And then now mm. do we actually quite an angalia to nona any these people not your kwanza atta when I was sharing my story kwa YouTube, but I don't re, uh, one may reflect on that bit because you're mm. the at home. Yeah. This place and then we are to, to we we are to know can't we come with a nini with a, um, an agreement an agreement if you because the main noise was not an issue because mm. we had agreed that a CC this is not her club. Yes. We just want a quiet environment. Fine and then plus in. the people who could afford because even according to our Prices. Our prices, mm. it's not the people, the hecklers yes. or something. Yeah. It's those people who can afford, those people who... It has its own audience, yes. target audience. See, see, see club. Yes. We told them no is to do any kind because right. we can do without music. Number two, non security. Let's come with an agreement. If someone going to the hotel, they can be screened. Mkona security. Wacha watu wataka kama ni kushuka kwa gari, screeniwe, take their details. Mm. We tried. Okay, it didn't work. So now we we had like by December now we have to move. Yeah. So we had done a lot of marketing. Mm. A lot. Yeah, we had done a lot of marketing. Yeah. We have wedding bookings because like December I think almost every weekend here December we did weddings. Wow. And then um uh, April, we were booked back April. We had to refund for weddings. Because mm. the area, our food, mm. by the way, we had amazing chefs. Mm. Our food was just good. good. It's okay, take your time. Mm -hmm. So, we mm had -hmm. to uh, this uh, this uh, good meal because we were even doing food tasting for the couple. Wow. Uh, the grounds, the cake, the, the kind, ambience. the ambience. Kuna rooms, yani it's mm. full package. Mm -hmm. But now it was never meant to be. So by December, we just uh, made that decision. To kind of actually, before we make that decision, there is an event because we used to, because it's marketing. By the way, yeah. I'm, I'm a marketer. Yeah. I can market. market. Yes. So like even our baking business, by the way, it's 
it didn't pay cake when you give your business six months <coughs> to do how long to pick it just i started picked. baking in october 2016 and by december i had baked over 40 cakes wow Ili pick to make a flow. Mm -hmm. And then one thing I also like for me in our business is that what gives us upper hand is excellence. Yani unatakaile, you're giving your all. The, best. the hotel we had invested, we didn't have like, yeah. actually our capital investment was ours, uh, our savings was like at around 2M. So if these are the 4 million ni, in the loans, we have to loans somewhere. And another thing I would really, our banks, they're not the best, by the way. Easy loans, I'm talking about, it's microfinance, it's chamas. When we were starting, and now I was working uh, with a bank, I'll not mention names. So to look, we had a journey, a rapport, where we've been baking the, back, mm. uh, the bakery proceedings and all that. Mm. So to make, create a rapport with them. And I knew they, when I was expanding, they told me they would give a loan yeah. for expansion. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. I have this money, but I would like to top up. Mm. So one month after starting Coast Venya to Lipata to your place, we didn't wait it to have like all the money. You, you pumped with what you yeah, had. Yeah, to Kaweka, what we had at Kwa me furnish rooms. Mm. By the way, like those people who came for the launch day one, we didn't at Kwa me furnish rooms mm. because we, we are waiting for this facility from the bank, bank so to you furnish. Can furnish. But now after ku to me fund it to me answer, the bank tells us along the way they can't give us a loan. So what do you do? People are coming asking for accommodation. The rooms need like uh, a two renovate, million beauty, renovation. Beautiful, and all beautiful that. furnishings, beautiful furniture, orthopedic mattresses and all that. So we had to approach microfinances now and you know the way their interests mm, are really mm, big. Mm. So we took loans from microfinances, from chamas, table banking and all Aye. that. And then when I imagine in your pesa in Nyenda Kukunya Maji. Anyway, so in December now we uh, when we had uh, one of the events mm -hmm. uh, now uh, the residents decided they are now they are going to really frustrate us. They locked the barrier. There is a barrier just before you access the hotel. Kulikuwa na barrier. So, soja likuwa mepo instruction. Anyone coming to the hotel, usi mfungulie. Washuke wajifungulie. And then, I don't know wali ambiwa nini because they were very rude. Tukawambia basi, si mkubali. One of our uh, staff hakuja fungulie ange anyone coming to us. At least for that rapport. Mm. But walikata. No, you can't be here. You will be a security threat. Oh, yeah. Imagine. So, our clients when akuja when I'm pure, your place at an illegal, ni 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 ni, as in shuko jifunguli a gate. You see now, you, when you the are client, the frustration, the frustration, to the embarrassment, and then you're coming to spend your money. Una rudi, una jo people are doing story. Mm -hmm. You're coming to spend your money, and you're being told, ujshuko jifunguli a gate so arrogantly. No, there is a problem. What you rudi? By the way, we lost that day. To look what me hire savvy DJs. To me, I have uh, quite a number of things. We had done a uh, beautiful deco and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that day we made a lot of losses. And we were like, we sat down with my husband to call you, Lisa. Do we really want to continue with this? Emotionally drained. Yes, emotionally drained, financially drained. You're paying, you're already servicing loans because with microfinances and table banks, you, you're and not given grace for a period. Mm -hmm. You start paying immediately. You're losing and you're paying. So we decided, no, we can't continue losing that way. We just decided, anyway, watch it to Jehi, pick your December issue. We just leave. Aye. Yes. We look for another place. And of course, now we couldn't uh, afford any other place. Because you can't have any, any place, as in all those, the kind of thing we wanted, it's uh, just a fine dining. Mm -hmm. So at Kurudi, Siji, Wapi, Kutafta Place. Yeah. In Kenya, I think it's just everyone's key to me, a shakwa second, and people will not matter. How long have you been using Unanza Kuza Vitanda? Viti, Nini. Actually, like the beds, we just give them to our relatives. Those orthopedic uh, divan beds. To Lizzie Patiana, to sheets, towels, macatins, zot and kaleta to Kwamba. I didn't even advertise Seti to Mefunga. I, I think I, I shared the story like eight. Eight months after, even our friends didn't know. Siku shata on my social media. Unka uka mka tunka sema enough is enough. Is enough enough. Unka funga. Tuka funga, tuka rudisha vitu kwa nyumba. But no, no, before your December, as we were thinking, kufunga na tuka fikiria. Now we can't lose everything. At least let's just open that car, restaurant peke yake. But our main, our um, 
our main vision vision yeah. was not just the restaurant it was up somewhere to have party small small parties you know, now like nowadays we to have very dimmed parties dimmed baby, baby showers, showers dimmed bridal showers yes. dimmed birthday parties mm. that was our aim mm. we started talking to our friends mm. finally Aye. we got one of our friend akakubali we we did the partnership agreements Aka, we did the evaluation of the things that we had and all that. Now we decided uh, 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 we needed uh, like extra two million. Yeah. He, he injected that t- two, two million. million. And for us, we're coming now with the expertise. We're mm. coming up with, with skill everything, set. with the yes. skill set, the furniture. I took not any furniture, mm. ama any kitchen equipment. Mm. Every, at least everything was there. Mm. So the only thing we needed to do is the renovation and to pay the rents and to start on with the marketing. So we got a very nice place in Adams, Applehood mm. Building. Mm. So we took a, a first floor. It was a very spacious place. Yeah. So, and then to Konhai, at an advantage, we can get to as many people, because here at Una is access easily mm. na matter to stage mm. two. Kwa yes. Yeah, so you don't have to really like uh, drive, ama go all the way, because like Karen, where we were, it was a bit hidden. Yeah. Like, ama, you're not driving, it was a it's bit It's a harder. bit hard to get yeah, there. To yeah. get there. So, we started off in Adams, but in uh, now February, now after Kutumeanza Twivi, lockdown, Ikafungwa. And we were like, oh God, what is What's this happening? happening? But now, Atu Kukufa Roho, Tukamwa, Tutukaka, we are still hopeful. After the lockdown, Tukanza now marketing, Nini Nini, nini Tuka engage. Delivery. Ata, yeah, mm. delivery. Tunapata. Every end month, you needed to pay rent from your pocket. Service charge. Service charge. Yes. You know, it became really hard. Uh, uh, allow me to take you back. Huh? Mm. This time when you are transitioning yeah. from Karen, mm. at this day where you just walk into that estate yeah. and you know this mm. is the last time yeah. I'm ever going to come back here. How mm. was it like for you looking back at all the investment you had made and mm. the community around? How was mm. that like for you? It was hard. It was Yani Ile, me like personally, I didn't even, I have never gone there by the way back. The whole from December when, I think from Christmas, Miss J. Rudi by the way. At a bit, we just got uh, transport people. My husband at least was a bit stronger. Him, he, he was the one who organized transport to a bit, but I've never stepped there by the way. Okay. We used to go a group called Binti in yeah. Nairobi Chapel. Yeah. Uh, and one time, Esther M- M- Muchemi. Yes, you know Esther her? Muchemi, the yes. one with yes, the, the business. Sam Chi, yes. the CEO. Yeah. She ever g- came to talk to us as women to empower us. Mm. And I was really touched by her journey, how she's doing. And I remembered, I knew mean, such people who are doing business to tell us how they've been coping. Mm. Whether it's this rough in Kenya, by the end after I shared my story, by the end, so many people have, have come out mm. to tell me doing business in Kenya, it's not a walk in the park. Challenges, you know people, we see all the glamour, all the successes, we don't know the tears. The challenges. The challenges, what people the go through. The sleepless nights. Yes. So I decided, I reached out through, there is a pastor called Pastor Liz on mm. Nairobi Chapel who was the uh, founder of that group, yeah. Binti. So I told her, and the, I, I remember there is, uh, I'm going through this and this. Yeah. I now need to, a mentor, I'm a someone to mm. tell us how do you now cope mm. after such big loss. Yes. You have loans, you're paying loans, nee, 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 nee. how do you cope after this? So by the I reached out to Esther. She was very welcoming mm. and she was willing to just walk the journey with me. Okay. So we had two sessions, but after two sessions, Nika disappeared. <laughs> so what happened after the first session mm. I told her my story and now I told her I want her to become a mentor and mm. she agreed mm. now the second session now I told her the kind of loans we have now how do we pay them the hotel is not there anymore what do we do now we even came with a very good plan yeah. uh, with the hotel so she uh, for the loan payments mm-hmm. So she told me one thing, commu- we, I tried to need, uh, renegotiate with the microfinances. I talked to the company suppliers when you have to jaw a leap, I talked to them. Just Kama, communicate. Just communicate. She told me to try and do that communication. Mm. And I tried by the I implemented. But Kuna Wengine, of course, like the microfinances, they will not listen to you. They will not. Yeah, but again, you don't lose hope. One thing I... I, I think I developed a resilience, which really I was also even surprised. 
nakuta na kuongelesha na niambia no hakuna chenye unaniambia and i'm like not giving up i'm not like going now ni rudi and i'm like wamekata kunisikiza what do i do unarudi tena i keep on trying and then with esther now with my husband we are so sad mm. we have to pay these loans what do we do no we started we got out of our way what can we do extra for me i'm very good at marketing so i'm not just going to market building a cake building as cakes i can market other Companies. companies i have i've mastered social media marketing of because i've been in this space for over five years yes i can market for many people people are struggling with social media mm, marketing mm. so with my team i had a lady who was doing helping with the, our bakeries mm. uh, social media marketing mm. we uh, we partnered yes. with her my my uh, former my so there are some my friends who are jobless i told them no oh, here yeah, i have an opportunity so can we do Okay, can you do can you write some mm. nice article i will mm. be guiding you yeah. so we had like a small workshop i i trained three people on yes. how to do they can do social media marketing and then i started getting companies good i and we by the way in january we by february we had five companies good girl good yes good each is fifteen thousand. good at least now on a if each we had a total of seventy five thousand. yeah you this know there's some um, income e, coming in, in. Alipa Kalon, mm. And then my husband by the way, is 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 an academician. Mm. He's an author. He has authored quite a number of books. We're publishing hou mm. houses, so mm. he decided he can self-publish his book. Okay. He started writing his book. And then I also beside this social media marketing, I have quite a number of following. What wale watu na job eldina kitwambia we buy these things. We will buy. We will buy. Mm. I started doing influencer that kind of influencer mm. market something i had not thought mm. youtube nilikuwa nimeanza hiyo time ya covid but when we started uh, the, uh, the hotel yeah. i decided now i'm going to revive good girl the the youtube, the YouTube. yes so now when I was going to meet Esther Muchemi, at least I was not like blank, yes. blank, blank. She told me now, besides now, the, the baking, how much is it, uh, the bakery, how mm. much is it bringing? Mm -hmm. like, it's bringing this much. Do you think there is something extra you can do to to make it bring more? Kamambia, yeah, I think I can try to diversify my network and bring, have new clients. Yes. So I became very purposeful in networking, mm. attending women events. You could. So... I, uh, when I attend these women events, I'll be all over. I'll be telling them I'm baking. I do very nice cakes. Check our page. And then we also, I also realized I also have to do something. Mm. Kwa bakery. Mm. We, I even went out of my way and got a cake artist. Someone when kazi yake too, it's just making Kudeko. very nice a cake, a, a cakes. Ukiona hii cake, utakuwa attracted kununua. So we... Revamped. Started, uh, revamped. How can we get better kicks? How can mm -hmm. we get more mm -hmm. customers? Mm -hmm. Our there are some trainings. I just started out of ill passion mm. to empower people. Mm. Like now, I see in the baking world, very you, you find the colleges are very expensive. Yes. Very few people are willing to train. Yeah. For me, I say this market is very big for all of us. Yes. So this supply can, uh, cakes can mm. At Nairobi, it's mm. very big. Mm. Why can't I empower other people? Walipe tuki tuki dogo. I trained them. Good. So that's why we uh, now we started also being serious mm. about training, yeah. baking training. Yeah. All this we are looking how can we make extra income. Mm. So we is you know, now we have uh, now when I was going to Esther Mochemi, yeah. she told me is of it is go list down. List down what kind of loans do you have? What else can you do on the site to pay them? So we were at least able to compare. We can do these extra things. Mm. We can diversify sales kwa bakery. We can tunaiza lipa to loan sa pana pale. Mm -hmm. So we we started very well. But again, when I left her place the second time, I went again nika kwa so overwhelmed. Nika ona, we are trying at first because Izoka, like the social media companies, mm. uh, we were marketing for didn't come immediately. Unajaribu, yes, we are trying to diversify in but this way. But working. it's not really working. Now what can I do? I at some point I really became down, and I remember there is a time I spent. I'm this a social person. I spent two weeks in the house, and by then I didn't even mention I'm pregnant all through. Yes, I think because my baby knew our 14th April, mm -hmm. even people didn't realize I was, I think, around seven months by the time we were living, seven, eight months pregnant. Hi. Yes, all this time, I'm YouTube, I'm shooting, I'm heavily expectant. We, there are loans, but now, one thing I really told myself, Nikilala, we, we had a meeting with my husband by then and we agreed to come. It is within us. 
it is within us to deliver ourselves or to let, her, to let ourselves sink. So we told ourselves we are not going to let ourselves mm. sink. But the way guys you're watching, it was a deliberate effort. Ile, you have to tell yourself it is in our mind we have people asking demanding for loans left, right, but we are not going to let ourselves de sink. Yes. Because to sink now Everything we will be auctioned. Kids. Our kids will suffer, but I talk a shule. What end a shule aje? So I couldn't even yet to judge now to auction new way. We are not. We are going to fight. You are very intentional. Yes, we are intentional. By the you have to be very intentional, and that is what has helped us through. Mm. Very intentional. We know we have this. At, we, there is very high chances and all the signs of getting stressed and getting into depression, but we are not going to allow it. Yes. Yes, we decided we are not going to allow it. Mm. So ni kungangana unajaribu kuambia watu. I'm doing social media marketing. And the people are like, hey, oh, it's a convert sales quickly. Una jaribu kuwa convinced. Okay. Yes. And by the end of the day, at least people coming, okay, started coming in Good. to cancer. Um, by the way, one thing I also can't forget God. God has been the center of all this. Amen. We started our sales kwa bika ni zikanza ku increase kidogo, but ni izile. Any coin. <laughs> have you ever had a situation? Every coin you're getting. Yote kwa madeni, yote kwa madeni. And these are loans you're going to pay for like the next two or three years. Aye. Any extra coin debts, any extra coin debts. But we decided, yes. Watch her too. And then another thing, actually, I even started preaching to my followers. Guys, don't let yourself look like your problems. Mm. One thing, as long as you are paying these loans, at least I'm going to decide. We are not going, my kids are not going to lack food. At some point, you couldn't even place me. Am I a baker? Am I a vlogger? Am I a social media marketer? Am I what? I'm Nikasa Paka Puza Mashamba. I started even being a land broker. Even Nikiski. Now, Lisa, that, that is like there is my friend who was uh, into real estate. Mm. Lisa. We had a sitting. I even I started doing almost everything and I didn't care. So me I put in the work. That work. I so love you. Yeah. Yes. At Ulali, my husband started writing projects for people. Ni, 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 ni. We are here working day and night. Yeah. To ensure that we are not auctioned. Our kids don't get out of school. We don't sleep hungry. Good. And then there are people relying on us. As in, we didn't have, as in, we didn't give that room ya kusink. Adams, imekata kupik, tumianza. We've started being frustrated, but we didn't, by the way, all along, atukwe kufikiria tutafunga. Tuliendelea kujikaza, kujikaza, kujikaza. This is a business, and now imianza kutu, itisha, we are paying loans. We are paying, uh, we, uh, we are paying rent, the rent, the employees. bills, employees, and now the business is not picking. So that's why the other day I was talking to my coach, now my coach is uh, called Sarah Rickson. Yeah. She told me, Belgina, at some point, it's okay to give up on things that you see are not adding value, Ama that are straining you more. It's okay. So now that, uh, that's, I remember... It was in September. Now I shared the story yeah. of what happened. Yeah. And after the story, I wrote, I can be a writer. So and then after the story, I told them, now guys, we are selling this restaurant. Anyone with capi who can inject capital for in intensive marketing and who can wait for a little longer because this is a very potential area, yeah. uh, can help us find someone to mm -hmm. buy the place. Mm -hmm. To Kajaribu the whole of uh, September, October, Akuna Mtu. So we took on a landlord at Upe Patie. Grace period. A, a grace period. To Tafute. Mtu. Kama tunaiza putafuta. Mm. Uh, tuku, uh, we didn't get anyone. Mm. Nasa hizo your grace period actually to look to lipe rent. Yes. So we, you, you have, a, it's a, I think, two months rent to pay. October na November. Mm. Then uh, you're trying to get someone you're not getting. So what is uh, what do we do now? Ni kama now ikafika point to zezi v two. We Mulipe. try to recover, but ukiangalia furniture, you we try to bring in someone and akupatia valuation ya one hundred thousand. These are things actually ata kuna mungu na fifty. These are things ukiangalia they are over two million. Ukiangalia the kind of furniture, Hi. the kind of uh, mm. uh, kitchen utensils and all that. Alafu Someone wants to give you a hundred thousand. Beggars cannot be. I know. Be. So 
And now tuka, we left to now we handed over the building to the landlord. Tukamwambia sasa tafuta mtu on your own tumekuwa chia nyumba. Tafuta mtu mwenye ukipata Hi. mtu with an intention mwenye atapata restaurant. Sisi hata atupati something at least a bit reasonable. Hi. Do you know me mpaka wa leo sijakuwa na nguvu ya kufuatilia by the way up to to date. I've your... never gone back. Sijakuwa na nguvu ya kufuatilia mtu alikuja anataka nini nini ataki. But now I was I was telling people now the lessons learned from this story. One, it's before you start any big investment, have the right people in place. Have a business coach, have a business mentor. Don't mind to pay the cro uh, the cost because people say coaches are expensive mentors, mm -hmm. but they are there for a reason and they're professionals. They are there and don't think that unajua is in vitu kama is kama sisi we knew ah we know. Unajua from your own knowledge, but now those, if you're watching and uh, you, you think you know it, yes. no, ask further, mm. investigate, mm. research. Mm. Come on, a commercial property, get a commercial lawyer. There is a different, I, that's when I came to learn lawyers were current differently. Kuna commercial lawyers who are just meant to deal with commercial yes. property. Don't just take a kawaida lawyer mm. to do the, the due diligence and then don't trust people too much. For me, by the way, I can trust people uh, too much. Like the landlord, uh, the landlady, I took a word and knew, ah, hakuna venye. Uh, yes, it's a happen. Your due diligence. So do your due diligence very well. Mm. Another thing now, if anything happens, because uh, when I was, I've been sharing my story with people, some other people have come out to share with me and to know, to help me know, those people who are driving up there, by the way, they go through things. You don't just wake up one day and find yourself on top. So I took this as part of the lesson. And the one thing, the, uh, uh, what I carry up to date, it's that um, knowledge and that joy of knowing I can do it. Good. I can become what I want to be. Because for me, I usually have big dreams. And now you're achieving that dream, but then that is one of the best things I, I came out with. Oh. I can do it. Oh, Whatever I put myself into putting. You, no matter how it turned out. No matter how it turns do, I can out, do it. I can do it. Yes. Yeah. Mm, now like, yeah. Uh, come on. Uh, so mm. is it now like what I really want to put into it's mm. having a very big school of baking Good. and making my our bakery is almost a household name but now I really want to I know it can be like the biggest Good. in the country Good. and even international Good. claim it yes amen and I know our school of baking because now like yes. I'm also passionate about empowering women and youth Good. actually like my Facebook group your your virtual skills learning I keep on encouraging people learn a skill after you learn a skill monetize that skill mm -hmm. yes don't just sit down and say hakuna jobs as in soap making, use something like simple soap making mm. and don't be embarrassed. Tengeneza sabuni actually I came to learn it's so affordable. Yes. Tengeneza enda ukiusi ya mm. 200 bob, 100 mm. bob. Unana, yeah. start a makeup application. Yes. Like the other day I was very happy though I've not perfected like the drawing art. my, the art of yes. drink a makeup. Yeah, but I, no, saw, I, the, I saw the, <laughs> did you do the makeup on your YouTube channel when you are telling As the story? Some I do that yes. one. It was done by my friend, oh, that who is good. also self-taught. Yeah, good. Yeah. Tell her wonderful job. Yes. yes. Oh, Unona, uh, people are uh, in such skill. You learn a skill, you monetize. So, uh, and I uh, see one thing I want to really help people, it's uh, learning skills. It's your um, uh, baking. Mm. I want to teach people the art of baking, doing business, or even you can easily be employed. Good. So, uh, that's my dream, and I know I can do it and do it big. Oh, and oh. then the ultimate goal mm. still remains we'll yeah. have a five star hotel. Oh. Because I'm so passionate about food, hospitality. You'll still go back. I will go back. I love you. Yes. You will go back. Yes, I will go and back. And start again. Yes, and start Hi. again. Beautiful. Yeah, now from experience. Yes. I'll not sta be starting from now, nowhere. I'll yeah. be starting from an experience. Yes. Yeah, imagine yeah. You, you imagine the fact that you went through this yeah. and you're still willing to go back to the same dream yes. that mm -hmm. might have betrayed exactly. you and start again is yes. what I'm really, I'm really proud of you for that. Like that's really incredible yeah. if you ask me. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to talk about friendship, Kidogo, yeah. because when we are going through hard times, mm -hmm. sometimes you are looking left, right, in mm. center you can't see your friends yeah why your friends there for you oh yes me by the way if there is one thing god has blessed me it's with mm. beautiful amazing souls friends mm -hmm. friends have been there good 
friends have watched the journey with me. Yeah. They've come out, come out, because the biggest challenge in your financial issues, paying off loans, mm. they've come off in a big way. Some of the friends who are like, were some of the suppliers, like, I remember the CCTVs we had installed. I'll even mention that lady, she, don't take. Mm. That lady installed over 20 cameras. She didn't even ask for a coin yeah. and she knew what we yeah. went through. Up to date. And she told me, Beldina, take your time. Once you're fully recovered, you will pay them. Yeah. So I've had such friends, and many more I can't mention. The friends even who could be, I mean, Achama, we're doing table banking. I will take a loan for you. <sighs> yes. I've had such friends, by the way, so supportive, like when they know now what I'm going through. Beldina, can we go for coffee? You just can't stay in the house. Nini, nini, they've helped me. My friends have helped me recru recruit employees for the bakery. They help with the marketing. Yes. I, I was telling people, when you hear my friends marketing my business, people say they start business and friends are not there. Me, my friends are my brand ambassadors. You see the way you would pay influencer yes. marketers yes. to pay for you? Yeah. My friend, my friends market my business as if they are paid. But I'm going to look at Belgium and I'm going to commission your person. I have. Good and we are, we are also going to market. Amen. Yes, <laughs> we are also you. going to market because I believe even as we speak, your contact details yeah. are right here on the yes. screen. Yeah. The social media handles because yeah. what other gift can this show give you thank if you, we don't also you, help in you. exposing your business out there? I really, really appreciate yeah. that. And that is all we need. You see, sometimes... At a, me, I really appreciate that those friends who are not able to assist in yes. monetary value. But you see me nowadays, and that's what I tell people, get what you get, extra, those in-kind services. Yes. They go a long way other than monetary can yes. go. Because now when you market my business and I have extra clients for the cakes, then those clients will keep Good. on coming, bringing mm. more clients. Mm. It's more valuable than even the monetary you can Good. give. The and my friend has done, the referrals, yeah. my friend has done that for mm. me and mm. I've ensured I don't disappoint them. Okay, Nipatia referral, I make sure we've really yeah. went out of our way to impress. Yes our clients and yeah. to do a good job of course business it took one a challenge out of there here and there and uh, but one thing okay at times we make one some employees who have not met to uh, our expectations mm. but i'm also blessed when it comes to employees you have like a good team. bakery the bakery the employees are the bakery most of them are serving three years plus yes yes, yes. So I'm able to get people whom we connect. Mm. I, in terms of people, I'm blessed. You are blessed. I'm able to get employees mm. who are self-driven. I can even stay for two weeks without going to the bakery. I love that you love your Yes. Team. Yeah. And they do every, everything. They are mm. more, they are very skilled. Mm. They will bake, they will decorate, they will deliver. So my clients don't have to worry. Even my friends know they don't have to worry. It's in Ikumuambi. It's so and so baking your cake and I deliver. They will not be worried yes. because they know they are they, they are good they are good. and i trust them they do yeah. a good job one thing i would like to tell people don't focus on on the negativities only count your blessings look i have very beautiful very handsome babies i have a very supportive <laughs> husband yes. i have very supportive employees yes. you see you have a very um I, I, by the, I count myself as very sharp and very aggressive i'm able to use my skills as in i'm Multi, uh, can I call multi gifted, multi talented, multi talented? Uh, claim it. I can, I can multitask. Yes. Cause me actually, there is a, a, the, like the day my close friends knew I was expectant. Ni mm. metoka hosi, and then I'm in an interview show. I'm telling them na post ni metoka CS. Actually, I was I operated on yeah. CS on Friday, and on Monday I'm telling them, guys, listen to my re radio show. Ni 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 ni, and they're like. Kasam called me, Beldina, don't tell us umenda kwa radio, because we know you can do that. Yes. So people were worried, but it was a, a phone interview. Yeah. So ni metoka, I'm not like, oh, ni kona undia CS, ni kona kabibika na liya pa, I can't do the show. Me when the, I take an advantage of opportunities. Good. When the radio show, they uh, told me they want to hear um, about my uh, baking business and yes. how I'm doing it, I told them, oh yes, I'm ready. Actually, they called me when I'm in the hospital. I told them I can't come. They told me, oh, once you're out of the hospital, we can do um, uh, a phone, phone interview. interview. Yes. And we did that. Yeah. So I'm not the, pi uh, the, the person who will sit down and, and wallow. wallow and feel sad yeah. and sink. You and know. you know, I'm a human. 
those feelings do you will always those come sometimes yes you do you d i do well, what keeps a lot you going? what keeps me going it's my, my the drive my children my dreams you see you don't want now i had this dream of having like ile it was the talk of town restaurant and everyone really really uh, liked to associate with it my friends who could hear telling them i have my i have a friend who has a hotel in karen and you see now you feel you've achieved now i don't want those kind of dreams to just die good yes and i love fine things in life oh, yes and yeah. you deserve fine things because <laughs> yes, you is a fine girl i know you is a fine girl all these fine <laughs> things god has put there yes. what i tell people me cuz my i come from okay not very humble background but see le etim na mko kuju like no people were like um now after the fall that's why people current lazima ujuane ndio ukue no me i didn't have that mentality eh hey, current atwezi enda kuna wenyewe no i i don't like putting that kind of mentality it there are some things meant for some people no no, no. these things are ours don't put limits yes. on yourself don't limit yourself don't limit yourself yes yeah. these things are hours i can drive a car i want it's it all lies within me yes yes and you are not sorry about yes, it yes i'm not sorry about it God. i work for it yeah. i go for it yeah. yes uh, sometimes at a, like a, when i remember when i was starting the baking business mm. i really used to do a lot of research uko mm -hmm. siku research ya experimenting with the recipes me at my employees would ask me at times what time do you sleep cuz wanalala wanamka asubuhi they will get a whole full write up zingine zimetupa zimetupa 3 am 4 am nini 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 about my findings and all that so me i'm one person who i put deliberate effort towards that uh, determination Good. working hard and smart at yes. the same time yeah. so you see, don't i don't like giving excuses yeah yeah, yeah. so you don't that. give excuses just go for it put in the hard work mm. and it will pay off and it will pay off and i know one day i'll walk into yeah. a nice fine dining Amen. restaurant yes. and i will be like she did yeah, it yes. she did it again yes. don't let anyone take your exactly. dream away from you exactly. you know don't let anyone say i love what you just said mm. i just love how real you are mm. we cannot afford to put limits yes. into our dreams mm. we can even for you guys who mm. are watching do not put limits into your dream because yeah. hakuna vitu za watu wengine exactly you also deserve to feel good about yourself mm -hmm. live in nice places I know. drive the best of cars exactly. it's a mindset yeah, thing it's, it's a, a mindset, mindset thing yes. don't put limits yeah. is there mm -hmm. anything you think we should have touched on yeah. that we did not touch on yeah i think i, I have not really mentioned it uh, yeah. why because uh, some people are um, asking oh, why did you decide to be vulnerable to share your story mm -hmm. you shouldn't have shared hakuna haja kuonyesha watu like your in this situation yes there are those people going through marital challenges business challenges how na job yeah. so you're feeling like all is lost mm -hmm. so i wanted to tell them that by the guys mkisikia 6 million sisi ni hustlers yani ile we have struggled with my husband to put this up city we have the luxury of we have all that money we are hustlers by the way mm. okay you follow social media you will know the kind of person i am So we I decided to encourage someone out there don't sit you're going through a challenge yeah. a job loss you're going through a business loss you're going through a, a family um, a marriage breakage and you're there you're sitting unajinini rise up amka put that tell yourself of course it will not be easy jambie convince yourself it's possible i can come out of this situation again um uh, communication is very important me when i communicate it's so therapeutic like i tried i had mentioned in my channel i see a therapist when i went seeing her and she was like beltina you have all it figured yes, all yeah chenye ningekwambia ufanye you already doing it you're communicating me any car challenge by then ikikuwa nayo i don't keep to myself i communicate i tell you like i tell my friend leo sina do by the way today i would want this one so and so called me for nini this my confidence by the way many pigas is woman you care pressure na sina at least i communicate at come out and at least i communicate i share whenever i go she communicates yes. guys you're not a superhuman communicate seek for help 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I would want to tell people. Yes. Just communicate, seek for help. Mm, communicate yeah. and seek for help. Mm. I just love you. I love mm. how you aggressive you are, mm, how authentic you. and vulnerable you are with your story. And yeah. this is something I tell people, Beldin. Um, mm. Vulnerability is yeah. not weakness. It's not weakness. People have got to stop mistaking yes. people being vulnerable yeah. for them being weak. Exactly. It's not weakness. It's not weakness. Yeah. Yes. Where, because I want to send our audience yeah. to genuinely, and I know this is not also something that you asked me here on yeah. the show yes. but it's what i think the lean googie community yeah. can do to yes. help you even lift yourself up where Thank can you. people find you and your amazing cakes Bake, tell tell people yeah. Hila, to pay a coca ka brief yes. where can people find you even mm. for your marketing services yes now guys i think you so much for this opportunity it's, okay. it's yeah. rare yeah. um so for me on my social media I go by Beldina Kirito J. Follow mm -hmm. me for inspire for motivation yes. and for you see all what I do. I share everything on my social media pages, mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, Beldina Kirito J. Our uh, uh, business page, Beldina's Delicacies, mm. we make beautiful cakes, yes. guys. Those cakes that are well thought out. Utana, they are very well decorated. We follow the trends. Good. Yeah, we make uh, birthday cakes, baby shower cakes, wedding cakes. So we make all those cakes. We again train. Our training is so affordable. Ours actually, I tell people, it's empowerment. We want to empower you. Good. Baking business is not meant for the chosen few. Mm. And nowadays, kila mtu wameanza kugundua cakes. Mm. Every occasion lazima ikona cake. Mm. The bakers we are right now, we cannot satisfy the market. The market is big for enough everyone. for all of us. Come train with us. We show you how to do the business. Yeah. And then I tell for us what makes us different in uh, terms of the, the trainings, we train about the baking, the skills. It's a one-on-one -on -one yes. practical skill. Mm. And then there is mentorship. Cool. I tell you, where we look by these uh, mixers, where we look by these baking tins, how will you cost your cakes, how will you market. I don't mind. Like my old students, are easy. we are competing in the market mm. and it's okay. Mm. Me, my dream actually, like there are some when you're building me and the marketing in I'm like, can we have coffee? Let's see where how we can do Let's it. Brainstorm. Me, yes, that's what I do my stu with my students. Mm. Some of them have become very close friends. They they are like a family. So we bond with our students. We walk the journey together. So my we have zero seven four eight. Yeah. Triple zero two zero two. Good. Zero seven four eight triple zero two zero two is our number. You yeah. can get us anytime, and we deliver by there everywhere. We are located in Kikuyu town, but most of our clients are actually outside Kikuyu. Good. I, I wanna wish you all the best. Thank My you so much. My people love cakes, so I'm Thank pretty you. sure. And I have one cake for you. I now. know. <laughs> yeah. And it is, I can tell you, it is as pretty oh. as you are. Kwanza imengena na hi. Thank yes. you so much. Yeah. Aki, I, I, I really appreciate you. I, and for you. me, it's just to commend you yeah. for being so vulnerable mm. with your story and mm. for wanting to share it because first, you want people not yeah. to feel sorry for you, yeah. but you also want people to learn from your exactly, story. And yeah. let me tell you, the day mm. you open your five-star Star. fine Amen. dining, I mm. just want to be there. Amen. I just want to come there with my yeah. friends mm. and we support Usin Mimim city wangu vitu za buri mimi i want just to come yeah. and support you thank and you book so a much. table because so it much. warms my heart when mm. i think of the number of times yeah. i have been you know a challenge has yeah. been right in front of me yeah. the number of times i have wanted to give up on yeah. my dream mm. the number of times i have sat on this yeah. chair and said i will not yeah. give up yeah. so asante sana my thank people you. meets just to pose a challenge to you the contact details have been here mm -hmm. for more than even 10 minutes so yeah. if you want to even order cakes yes. you want to go for mentorship you know the trainings the all those things yeah. what we are going to do on this show today is elevate Beldina her business and tell her how proud we are for having her okay. share her story guys just go send her all the messages that you want go elevate her with lots of love and kind words it's during these times, I can tell you for sure, six million is a lot of money. But as you've heard, she's strong. She's not a victim. She's a victor. And I hope you have fully been inspired by your story. And I'm also reminded today of another person that I met because 
agents wa kutafuta nyumba mm -hmm. si mchezo yes. uh, but there's a guy who came through for me at a particular mm -hmm. moment and he has been such an incredible person mm -hmm. his name is Gerishon i will try to put his number right here if yeah. you are looking for a space yeah. and this is from me to you yeah. because i can vouch for mm -hmm. the kind of agent that he is mm -hmm. if you are looking for an office space apartment mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. that you might be looking for Gerishon's number is right here mm -hmm. i'll try also play a ka video of him that I saw yeah. online at the mm -hmm. end of this so this is just free marketing guys yeah. because I want you to be careful with getting yeah. land agents. apartments offices yeah. agents for me that is my person that yeah. is the only person I call mm. when I want something and I'm like Gerishon mm. I want a space where can I find and I have learned to trust him so mm. guys check his work out also and let me know and also if you want to share your story with me of course my email is right here on the screen send a summary and who knows we could be covering your story next on lns mm -hmm. to the team that makes this thing possible the legendary director and camera person edwin ochien thank you so much ed lea meva ukutuma adidas na shati za yelu ada siwezi mweka hapa kwa siwezi mweka hapa kwa camera leo siju anaenda kucheza ball wapi after this the legendary director and camera person edwin ochien thank you so much bro for everything you do on the show and of course our amazing editors david moredi and chebet kirui for being a very impactful and bring all your skill sets on this you know mm. our ka production company yeah. and making sure we are bringing people conversations that have the ability to impact lives elegance fashion i love my shoes i love my dress thank mm -hmm. you so much and our partners here at westwood asante nisana till next time my name is lynn googie <laughs> <laughs>